Hey everyone, Fruit Whips here. Welcome to my channel again. It's been a while and today I'm going to be converting my GoPro Hero 9 Black into a naked GoPro. So basically you've got the kit here which I've bought for about, it was about 25, 22 pounds. I think it's about 25, 30 dollars. You've got the ribbon cable with it, the BEC and the power cable. Personally I went with this hand saw it's quite thin and I think it'll get into the edges quite nicely I've got some prying tools knife here and a blade just in case I need it so one piece of advice I definitely say before you get on with any of this and dismantle this you need to install GoPro labs in here and also make sure you've got your Wi-Fi settings on and I'd advise to set it to 5 gigahertz instead of 2.4 so you don't Get interference with other things um, so GoPro labs you install it in there you actually download it from GoPro labs website you put it inside the memory card put it back in here and then it loads up the GoPro labs firmware and that's it and what that enables you to do basically is that you can download an app for your phone called QR control and you can have a library of QR codes with all sorts of details on there like the pro settings and shutter speed and all sorts of stuff and then you've got just one code and then all you do is just show it to the front of the camera and within two seconds all the settings you've set to that QR code flash onto there and that's it so that's a handy tip there So first step I'd say, you know the bracket at the bottom here with the legs on it, take that off with the four screws because they go inside and hold other things in there. And then the other thing, take off the battery lid, it just comes off, it unclicks here where the hinge is. And then obviously take out the battery for safety reasons and take your memory card out as well. So for this, as you can see, on the edge where the screen is you have a small lip like a rubber lip and then next to that you've got the plastic harder casing so we need to get just in there where the glue is underneath it goes all the way around see we're going to need the screen for future just in case we need to connect it back up with the ribbon cable so keep that as intact as possible So it seems a little bit difficult so I'm going to apply some heat here with my small heat gun. I'm going to do all the edges and then do it little bit by little bit and try and take it off. So what I'm going to do initially is do the corners which enables me to get in there a little bit easier and then I'm going to do the, all the sides, the other four sides. Okay. Right, you can see I made a little bit of a mess on the sides. I mean, you can use something like a blade or a Dremel or something like that to maybe get a smoother edge. So as you can see now, we've gone through the glue, it's starting to open up here. A bit more heat. I think I need to get this closer to myself just to pop it off there we go it came off careful you don't just yank out the ribbon cables you need to click them off carefully and you've got some sticky tape in there as well which we don't actually need so I've popped that off I've got these plastic tools which helps so you just go underneath and click it off so next take all the screws out everything that you can see visible I've taken I'm gonna take these off here I've taken one off here that one there so you've got them in all the corners and you've got some in the sides and you've got these two holes here as well which go through so take everything off We've got the battery cage here, that should be unhinged now. So we're going to slowly pull that off. So 
So as this comes out, it's connected with the cables here again. And if you look at the bottom, as I said, you've got the little spongy bit with another click on connector. You can just pop off. So we can see all the connectors here now, like I was saying with the little spongy bits on them. So take all of these off first and take the sticky tape off, you don't really need that either. Got these side screws as well, got the bigger middle one. Take all of these off. Any screws you see that could potentially be in your way, just take them off. Okay, now that everything's out, just make sure that the camera connection is off as well, the big one right underneath. And then what we can do with the prying tools is slowly start to get the main board out. So I'm just gonna gently ease it up a little bit from each side, from the left, from the right, from the top, and just carefully pry this out without cracking it or damaging anything else. Okay, we've got it popped out, nice and clean, put that aside. So next we're gonna get the camera out. Got three screws which hold it down, you'll, you'll clearly see them on the corners of where it's connected to. should come out relatively easy. So we've got two of the main pieces. We need to get the screen out now. So you see this panel here at the top? Makes it easier if we take that out. So undo the screws on there as well, which are more visible now. And then we can take that panel out, that board. So the front side, once you take the lens off, you've got this underneath section, 
it's two different things. So this one is a 0.9 hex. Two of the screws come off like that. And then surprisingly, the other two are different. It's the star shaped screwdriver that you need. So I looked on here and it says it's a T3. So we'll take these off as well. So once you take this off, it kind of helps to be able to push as well from this side. Finally, you've got these plastic locators or rivets. So I took them off with a sharp knife. They seem to be holding in this whole back plate. You'll see them, the tiny little plastic bits that are beveled out. There's a few of them. So pop these out. And it's much looser now, I can see some movement there. Try and pry it out and also use maybe a little bit of force from the other side. So once this back plate comes out we've got the the front monitor, the screen, sorry, stuck onto it. So personally I had a little issue here when taking off this back plate the screen split into two sections which isn't a problem but I'll explain it just in case it happens to you. So half of it was left inside and half of it was on this metal bracket. So basically what I've done is I've taken the piece off here and then the piece that was inside here and I've just popped them together. The backing and then the front section there, which has the cable attached to it. Not really an issue, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. So we've got everything we need. Now we just assemble it, which is a really quick thing to do. First, I'm gonna put the screen in. fits perfectly into the front bracket and then you've got the ribbon cable which we're going to put through the front section of the case. Just make sure it's clicked in properly. Okay, next, I'm gonna put the camera into position. As you can see, you've got two screws on one side and one screw on the other, so it's exactly the same. You've got a screw pack which comes with this, but I'm using the original screws which I took off just to put them back in. Okay, so next, the main board. So line it up, make sure you don't have the cable stuck under there. 
line it up with the screw holes. And then I'm going to put three of the screws in only just for now. So as you can see the board has three screw holes which have gold around them. One. The top left, bottom right, I mean bottom left and bottom right. So just put those in for now. Next we've got this handy ribbon cable which is going to go roughly somewhere there. So I'm going to click this bottom section on first. And then the top one. So the middle one here needs to loop back and go inside this BEC. The BEC comes with a sticky pad. If it doesn't, just put a little bit of double sticky on there. So once we've got that positioned, aligned with the middle ribbon cable, then we can put it in there. So just loop it back and the socket that you've got there on the BEC, it's got two small plastic, black plastic bits on top. You can loosen them up so the ribbon cable can go in and then just lock it back down. Okay, once you've got that locked in, you've got two left to click in. You've got the long part of the ribbon cable, which goes to the far left. So you can click that in there. And then you've got the final one, which is the camera connection. And we are done. The only thing is just to connect it up and get it going. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped you in some ways. Please subscribe and please like as it really, really helps the YouTube algorithm. And hopefully see you on the next video.